I don't say one like. Oh, sorry. I I meant to. I meant to, I meant that as a countdown for you to get started. Oh, oh shit. All right. <laughs> That's okay. My That's bad. okay. This is the new format I'm, stuff I'm that we so have to work out. I'm so used to me starting it. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I know. All right, count me in again. Three. Well, I already hit record, so we, uh, okay. I'm, I'm going to edit it anyway. So. Good. Whenever you're ready. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Midweek War! Oh, man, it is me, Mad Mike, and we are here to talk some 205 Live. And with me, as always, is the one and only Sorgatron. That's right, it's Upgrade Week here in Sorgatron Media and Wrestling Mayhem Land. We are bringing it to you on Facebook Live like we do most of the other shows, upgrading this show a little bit. In production value and stuff so so and 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 again opportunity for more people to get involved i'm hoping here uh by by bringing it over to facebook live for the live aspect of this show um maybe eventually we'll go back to and dual stream it to youtube but apparently facebook doesn't like that in wirecast right now so uh either way uh we're hoping more people get to get in on the midweek war uh situation if you're joining us live we're still going to do multiple streams so check in with that uh, uh, throughout the evening as we uh, do these on Thursday nights. And eventually this is going to be, uh, we're planning it to be part of a podcast day part two for the week. Uh, so, which is also another reason we're kind of moving to this new kind of uh, recording format. So Mad Mike. Podcast the, 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 day two. Podcast, podcast day two. Podcast harder. Let's get podcast it started. Podcast harder. Part harder. Part hard. Right. But you know what? Just because we made it look prettier, we made it sound funner, we're still doing the same old format, Sorgatron. That's right. Oh, they're, they're, we need a theme song now, too. Oh, shit. We do need a theme song. Okay. We'll just remix well, you say Midweek War a bunch of times. Yes. Absolutely. Oh no, Sork, Sork. Here, here we go. Midweek war. Good God, y'all. What is it good for? Podcasting, baby. All right. Let's get the 205 live, yes. baby. Yes, Sork. What's your word for 205 Live this My week? My word for 205 Live this week is injury. Ooh. I, okay. I, who was it? Was it you that was, or, or somebody else that was asking how long is Tozawa going to have that injury for? Uh, as long as DDP had his ribs taped. I, I, I'm i leaning towards that for, for the most part. I, I really am. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean... I, 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 I'm fine with him being taped up. I can't take his screaming, though. Really? Like his, off his offensive screaming is fine. His screaming in pain just really oh, kind of oh, grates you, on me. You don't like the selling screaming. You, you think he's kind of overdoing it a little bit. Uh, he's overdoing it a lot of bit. Okay. Like Peter Griffin thinks he's overdoing it. <laughs> okay. Ah! Uh... Ah, all right. Uh, my word this week is. Uh, hold on. I had a word. And uh -oh. Now uh oh, it went I away. It. it went away. Where to go? Where to go? Find it. Look under. It. Look under the couch. Maybe we rolled under the couch. Synergy. 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 My word for this week is synergy because, uh, you sure got that Teddy joystick playing that new video game. Wait, what? Oh yeah, that's right. Well, okay, you know, you know, okay, you know, a show is not doing half bad if they have a sponsor spot like "Let's Play the New Game" on Two Hundred Five Live. They're doing okay for themselves. Hopefully, yeah, Hopefully. I, I would think. I I'm think that's still a sign not of entirely it. sure. I'm still not entirely sure. Um. All right, but Sorg, uh, what was your good this week for 205 Lizzle? I, I kind of had a personal Lizzle, um, good Lizzle. Wait, oh, wait, I'm leaning too far into it. Um, I, yeah, I, had, right. I had a personal kind of good. It was good to see, you know, much like here in Pittsburgh, it was great to realize there was like three Pittsburghers slash three friends of the Wrestling Mayhem show involved on Monday Night Raw in Pittsburgh. Fantastic feeling. But even like you're know, realizing, because I'm actually Facebook friends with uh, Vic Joseph over there. Uh, on 205 Lizzle. Shit. Uh, <laughs> damn it, Mike. <laughs> See what you did? Uh, but, uh, you know, he talked about, you know, this is a, his first time 
in the hometown on the other side of the railing, um, you know, and not getting escorted out by security, of course. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, 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 so it was really cool to see see that, you know, and he's another guy. Well, not on the Mayhem show. I have worked with him a bit. Uh, ran into him uh, again at uh, House of Hardcore, but also he's a big part of uh, Prime Wrestling with Joe Dabrowski up in the Cleveland area for a good while, where guys like Johnny Gargano and Matt Cross and, and Jimmy Jacobs had a lot of great battles up there. Uh, so, so it, it, you know, it's good to see those guys moving up. And, again, our dude's taking on, you know, pretty much, you know, really kind of infiltrating uh, 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 WWE all, all over. All right. Um yeah, I mean, I I love Vic Joseph on. God, if we could just give Vic Joseph and Corey Graves to do Raw. Remind me at I, some point. I need to I need to find clips of bad guy Vic Joseph, it's just for you know entertainment value. Um, okay. Like, hey, here here's this guy that called two hundred five live back when he was a heel, uh, taking on Justin Labar. <laughs> oh jeez. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. That's- that sounds fantastic. All right. Um, my my good this week, you know, I'm giving it to Tony Nice. Yeah? I'm giving it up Dude, for Tony Nice. Is it because he cut, like, a full promo to just the camera on the ramp explaining in full detail about his abs and how he's better than you? He gave me that was impressive. Reasons. He gave me eight reasons why he should be my good this week. He does. He gives you – I my, Mike, do you actually have eight goods this week because of Tony Nice's abs? I think I have to, yeah. I think I have to have eight goods this week. Because, like, he's basically stealing Johnny Mundo, but Americanizing it even further. And he I'm is. okay with that. He is. He is. I, I really wish t- Tony Tony Nice would also take you to Slamtown. I, I'm sure he probably would. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. But, uh, Sorg, not every show is perfect this no. week, as we all know. Absolutely um, not. What would be your bad this week for 205 Live? My bad this week for 205 Live. I'm really, you know, this, um, you know, Brian Kendrick is the man with a plan, but I think he keeps losing his plan in his other tights. Okay. It just, um, is this a metaphor for something? No, no, not really. It's just, I, I'm just really getting tired of him coming out here and tell, like, like we talked about the little last week about how, you know, Brian Kendrick telling us about how much of a goof Gallagher is is kind of old already. A little bit, yeah. A little bit. So, I mean, at least we didn't have any uh, fine illustrations up on the on the Titantron this this oh. week or anything like that. Thank God there was so no photo from that. Yeah, so, so there's that. Um, can I have a side bad? Um, that you? I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't tell Missy, but yeah, it, you can it, have a side, side bad. bad? <laughs> Is that what side bad means? I don't know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> that could be know. what side bad means. Okay. It could be. Um, that you won't. This is you won't get the chance to see because I don't know where you even would watch a uh, main event. Um, there was a fantastic match here in Pittsburgh uh, with uh, Grand Metallic. I was like, who the hell is that guy with Kid Cat Man? Uh, it turned out to be Grand Metallic um, <laughs> against. I don't even know who they were against. I mean, it was you know, it was no, nobody insignificant. I think it might have been Kendrick and TJ Perkins, if, if I recall. Uh, but there was a fantastic part where they um, they were they they set up so they were facing each other on the top turnbuckle and moonsold and moonsaulted. Um, opposite ways onto their opponents. Nice. I I just look. I'm just like this is the first match on a raw taping, and I've literally never seen that before. You know, uh, it, it's incredible. Like there is good stuff open, happening over on main event, and and kind of the thing where I, I I feel like we've had a couple tag matches the last few weeks where like oh that was that was a good match and there was something going on there. You know, not just the match we throw in the middle of raw because cruiser weights right, right um yeah. and, and i thought this lended to it so i, I you know we, we kind of watch these, these things and say okay is there like a kind of a new initiative to kind of kick a little more ass for some reason or something like that and i think in these tag matches you're seeing that a little bit um mm-hmm. so i i mean just just a personal observation i mean it may be just me um but i'm really enjoying a lot of those okay also All i right. got to yell kitty cat man at the beginning of the show Ah, Kitty Cat Man. I love Kitty Cat Man. It has no. Um, it has nothing to do with the 205 Live episode this week, of course, but in the realm of cruiser, because we really are the cruiserweight show, aren't we? Yeah, basically. Um, my my bad this week is actually going to be a delayed bad. 
A delayed bad. A delayed bad because, uh, like, uh, Sorg, you're familiar with Pokemon, correct? Is that the side bad that you just haven't broken up with yet? No, 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 no. It's it's a delayed bad. It it's Sorg. You're familiar with Pokemon, right? I am. F- I am. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm a little bit. Well, that's yeah. Familiar okay. with Pokemon you, you, there. You know, you know the Pokemon move Future Sight. No, I don't. Okay, there's a Pokemon move fo- called Future Sight, where a Pokemon, a Psychic type usually uses Future Sight. Okay. And then, in three turns, the attack hits. Okay. So basically, this is Future Sight bad. Is that Tazawa and Neville? are not going to be on SummerSlam. They are going to be on the SummerSlam pre-show. Oh, that is kind of bad. <laughs> that is a future bad. That is a future bad. That is a, future, is a future bad. And not a, and not a, a, a you know, not, not a progress for the cruiserweights. Are the cruiserweights in the in, in this area where we need to do a hashtag give cruiserweights a chance like we did with the Divas back in the day? Um, I think we need to just give a lot of people a chance like Mm -hmm. i I think raw the raw team as a whole needs to hashtag give writing a chance (laughs) give give good programming a chance don't blow your load in two hours and leave us sitting there for the third wondering if we should get another beer yes yes uh but yeah that that's that's my because i mean i like the match a lot with tozawa and davari Mm -hmm. i thought it was great but at the end of the day i'm like hey he's going to the SummerSlam free show you're completely going to be in the building where there's a Summer Sam Lego logo for the pre-show. Yep. And you can definitely be viewed on the network during SummerSlam pre-show. As well as YouTube and Tout and wherever else they are these days for the pre-shows. Yeah, probably Grinder. They're probably on Grinder at some point. Make sure you watch the SummerSlam pre-show on Grinder. Yes. All right, but Sorg, uh, what, is there anything that you would change about 205 Live this week? Uh <laughs> I don't, uh, insert bad joke about grinder here. Uh, <laughs> I guess. Uh, <laughs> um, what would I change about it? I I wish there was one one. I just just wanted you know maybe uh, Gallagher would come up and come out and throttle him with an umbrella. I know we killed the last umbrella and that might be it for the umbrellas, but I mean just let's let's just roll with it. Yeah, that's, I mean Gallagher's ki- Gallagher's killed like thirty umbrellas at this point. That is true. That is true. Um, I don't know if I had a change this week. I, we're throwing so many people on SummerSlam and the pre-show. Why not just have Neville attack both these guys and make it a triple threat? Mm-hmm. I'd rather see that triple threat than just um, Diamond Dallas Tazawa against Neville. By the way, that's what I'm calling him from now on: Di- Diamond Dallas Tazawa. Diamond DDT. Dallas Tazawa. I DDT. can't wait. I cannot wait for Tazawa's version of DDP yoga. There's a lot of screaming, just a lot of. Yeah, I was going to say, instead of deep breaths, it's all. Ah! A lot of, ah! a lot of kick. Ah! <laughs> Hashtag Tazawa, lo- uh, uh, Tazawa yoga. Hold on, let me make a note of that. Oh, Sorg, we have a live question in the chat room. Oh, do we? What's going on? We have a live question in the chat room from Brandon. Mm-hmm. Uh, he wants to know if we think 205 is going to SmackDown after uh, SummerSlam because Raw's not promoting it well. I would love if that was a thing. I would love Me if. Me too. Like, isn't this, isn't this the thing we wanted Raw to be this whole time? Was like, can you just give the first hour to NXT or something? Or, or the first hour is the Cruiserweights, but we just go ahead and do that with SmackDown? All right. You know, or you, I, I honestly, they could really still trying to do it. Um, but uh, no, I, I'm completely into that. And, and thank you, Wheels. Uh, Wheels says he loves the wall. Uh, so that, that is hey, more functional Thor? than anything. Wheels, we do not support that WWE Hall of Famer here. Tear down that wall. Oh. Oh, oh. different wall. Different, That's a different wall. Different wall. That's I'm sorry. Wall. He's, he's a fan of the Chris Hardwick show. I get it. Never mind. Mm. Moving on. Moving I on. don't know what we're. Okay. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I I mean, I've been saying this for months. Like, when they had the draft, all of the Cruiserweights should have gone to SmackDown then. Absolutely. Like, and, you know, I was thinking about this, Sorg. I have a question for you. If we got Talking Smack back, but 
They moved 205 Live to an hour or 45 minutes before SmackDown. What would you think about that? Go ahead, run that by me one more time. If they got t- t- talking smack Just, back, because like the reason, a lot of the reason they said talking smack got canceled is because it was no longer right after SmackDown. Or that might have, that might have like not helped it, right? Yeah. What if we did two hundred five live live before SmackDown? I think you then run... we did SmackDown, right. then we do talking smack again. I think you run into a problem if you're going to start the taping. Is 205 Live going to be live on the network? Yeah. I think you're going to run into a problem where that's too early in certain time zones. You're going to run into a problem in, like, especially on the East Coast, where that's going to be, you know, doors are going to open at 6 o'clock, and that might be a little more difficult for them to handle. Isn't that when doors open anyway? Uh, 6.30, 7 o'clock, something like that. Okay. I think. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't think that's the answer. I, I don't. I, I don't think that's the answer for that. I. I think. I don't know. I don't know. You know. I. I just can't get behind that idea. Okay. Oh, and um, Brandon saying uh, they don't change the ropes or the mat anymore. That's why he asked. That's. I think. Not, that's, yes. I think that's more of a cost cutting thing. I, well, we did say there's no pyro anymore. There's straight up no pyro anymore. Um, mm-hmm. so there's that. Uh, so yeah, I, I, that, that kind of goes along with that since it all kind of happened at the same time. And honestly, I didn't really care that they did the purple ropes. It was kind of cool that it was its own brand, but still it, it didn't like, matter. Like that for the Cruiserweight Classic was mm-hmm. great, but I think doing it for the individual matches, A, just kind of forced you to realize that, oh, this is not raw. This doesn't really count. It's like the Sin Cara lighting. Right. Like, I'm kind of glad it's gone. Right. Because, like, they're they're just regular superstars. They shouldn't have to be in their own little box. But also there's that little ch- that little bit of, oh, they don't care as much about this anymore, do they? Right? That's what it feels like to me. I, oh, sorry. I caught you eating. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, that- I, don't, I don't know if that's necessarily the case. So I don't know, you, you know that it always seems a thing like we got all out and this is its own segment too. It's just another segment, and maybe that's just the course of things on a production like this. But that always makes me on, that that's, honestly, that's usually rather, the first like uh, I'm kind of worried about that part. I'd rather it just be another segment though, because that makes it feel like more part of the show. Absolutely. Like any any time they say the following match is a women's division match, like we we get that. You don't have to announce it. The fact we, that we women kinda, come out. We kind of figured the, it out. We kind of figured it out by the wardrobe. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, but all right. So, Sorg, as as we do, where do you rank 205 Live this week? Man, I'm looking at a couple of things and and and, and, I, and this is another week where I want to say, uh, despite where things rank, doesn't mean that everything was too far off from each other, right? Um, but I think I'm landing this on number three. Hmm. I think I'm landing it on number three, yeah. Number three? Ah, man. See, I don't know. It's... I, I'm not sure where... Because I know it's between two or three for me. And there's some good stuff. I like this show. I yeah, really there, like the show. Yeah, this there week. was... There, there were there were three pretty decent episodes this week, mm-hmm. like just of everything. But I think, yeah, you know, I think I might go number three with you, mm-hmm. and and that's, that's that's weird coming from me because I I really liked it a lot. But and I'm surprised because I figured there was a lot of stuff on one of the other shows that you were not gonna like. So and I'm sure that we'll have some conversation. But I think the good is is above a lot of that. Yeah, but at at this point. I think uh, one of the other shows did better to further their future than mm-hmm. 205 Live did this week. Uh, Wheels is saying he thinks uh, 205 Live should be interesting in 2K18. Are they are they representing in that? I don't know if they are. I mean, I would. I haven't heard. They might. They they've got to be. I think. Right. Right. Maybe. Well. We'll see. We'll see. I just with the turnarounds and stuff on those games, I'm always wonder- worried about it. I mean, I can I completely see them doing like 
uh, probably downloadable packs later if they're not in the game yet. Well, because they're so. gonna, there's gonna have, they're gonna have to add a lot of people from NXT in oh, the Cruiserweight yes. Classic. Oh yes, like that roster has exploded. Uh huh. Absolutely exploded in the last couple of years. I mean, look back to even just in the last year. Like, you ever look back at the rosters for like any year, like late to mid to late nineties of WCW. And the ridiculous amount of people that they had on that they maybe even weren't using, but were being sent a check, right? Like, they had an incredibly obscene amount of people on that roster. And, and yet we still always find time for Fred Durst. No, no, no. What, no, no I'm talking No, I'm talking about WCW. Oh, oh I, I thought you were talking about the video game No, 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 no. In that one, we always seem to find time for David Arquette. Yes. Well, mm. I mean, Sorg, hey, show respect former world champion that's right and we have the uh relative of david arquette coming in here tuesday night to be part of the wrestling mayhem show and the indie mayhem show with kitty arquette so it all links together Wait, is she really a relative as far as i know yes mike uh so okay yes that's what right. they say every time she comes out. So, okay. absolutely, Mike. Okay, second generation. I like it. Absolutely. I, second, maybe, yeah, I guess I it's second know. generation. Yeah. I don't know. Second I generation. haven't seen the family tree. Maybe that's something we'll ask her about on Tuesday. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Listen, bring me a printed copy of your family tree so I can see exactly how you're related to David Arquette. Is that what you want, Mike? Do you want this? And you want to just turn it into a an expose on... Uh, an extreme expose? Uh, hey, there's been a 205 Live midweek <laughs> war. I'm going to let Mike hey, take it hey, out of here. Hey, 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 hey. You have to say we're around the internet, Sorg. Oh, hey, I am at Sorgatron Media, Sorgatron on the Twitter. And as with both those things over on the Instagram as well, I've been sharing a lot of pictures there on, on Facebook about uh, we've been decorating around here. And it's been uh, fun and geeky and wrestling kind of decorating around the office this week. Uh, again, still preparing, uh, you know, soundproofing on the wall. I hope it sounds a little better than shows have in the recent weeks or even earlier in the week. Uh, so it's getting better and it's getting it's feeling more like uh, our place here. And I'm really looking forward to, to doing more and more here. Okay. Uh, and you can find me at Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter machine. Also, go to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM when I live tweet certain shows like Lucha Underground. And uh, yeah, and every Thursday now, join us live on Facebook. We got a bunch of people in the chat, Sorg. Absolutely, We're chatting it up. Absolutely, thank thank you so much to uh, Chris. I saw out there, Brandon Wheels, of course, joining us. And I saw some shares from a couple other people out there. Thank you so much for spreading the love. I'm hoping that we blow up the midweek war here. Or I'm sorry, we blow up what, Mike? <laughs>